I believe in my neighbour, my fellow man, meeting up and struggling to understand their lives as best we can. The hall is a safe space where we can think, talk, learn, listen, laugh and dance. <laughs> it brings out the best of us. So come along and see what we're doing with your own eyes. Don't be frightened. Welcome back to Kermit Uncut, where once again I'm presenting my Can Diary from the splendid surroundings of London, because my motto is Can Dote. Now, this isn't a reflection on the films in Cannes. I don't like the Cannes Film Festival itself, but often they're really, really interesting films. One of those films, one of the films that is competing for the Palm d'Or, is Ken Loach's new movie, Jimmy's Hall. Actually, this is some kind of a record. This is Ken Loach's 12th time in competition for the Palm d'Or. He won the Palm d'Or some years ago for The Wind That Shakes the Barley, which was a really terrific film. Jimmy's Hall is based on a true story, a true story of James Broughton, the Irish communist leader who emigrated from Ireland to America in 1909, came back to Ireland in the 1930s, where he opened up a community hall, the Jimmy's Hall of the title, where there was teaching and radical discussion and, most alarmingly for some people, dance. And essentially, he was run out of town by a coalition of the Catholic clergy and the local authorities, all of whom thought that he was spreading sedition and immorality and basically uncontrollable ideas. Now, the film is a really interesting Ken Loach film. It's vibrant, it's educational, it's full of ideas. It's got a terrific script by Paul Laverty and I liked it very much. I have no idea whether or not it's going to win the Palm d'Or. I don't know what else is really competing against it, but I like the film a lot. But what got a lot of attention was the fact that just before Ken, Loach's producer, Rebecca O'Brien, seemed to suggest that this was his final feature film. He's 77 now, and she said, well, it looks like he's not going to do another narrative feature. Well, since then, Ken Loach has kind of denied that. Recently, Hayao Miyazaki said that his final feature was going to be The Wind Rises. And actually, since he made that announcement, there have been a lot of people saying, well, is it going to be his final feature? I mean, he has made that announcement before. This time, he seems to mean it. And there is something about The Wind Rises that feels like a full stop. But as far as I'm concerned, if filmmakers like Ken Loach and Hayao Miyazaki can carry on making films as long as is possible, that's a really good thing. Certainly, on the evidence of Jimmy's Hall, there is nothing aged, nothing old, nothing slowing up about Ken Loach. Frankly, he's younger than you or me.